What's up guys, DecaCrafter here, and today we're setting up a Cobblemon server. Now we're going to be setting up both the server and installing it to your client. We're going to be using the official Cobblemon mod pack for this as well. Make sure you follow the steps carefully because there is some things we're going to have to change because the latest update for the server mod pack has a couple outdated files in it that we're going to have to update manually. So just stay with me for this. I'm going to make it super quick and easy. Let's go to downloads first. If you needed the Cobblemon website, you can go to cobblemon.com or just use the link in the description. You're going to scroll down until you see the fabric loader for version 1.19.2. You're going to click open a new, new window and download. Wait for it to load. Download for Windows. Hit keep. All right, now we're just going to run the installer. And you want to make sure you set it to 1.19.2 and then hit install. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do that, but that's all you have to do with this file. Then you're going to close out of that once it's done installing. Go back to Cobblemon, right click the Fabric API, open a new window, and the Architecture API, open a new window. Now when you open this, you're going to scroll down until you see the 1.19.2 Fabric API. That's the one that you want to download, so we're going to click on that and then hit download here. Then go to the Architecture page, scroll down until you see 1.19.2, but make sure you do not click on the one that says Forge. You see how it says Forge here? You want to get the Fabric one, otherwise you're going to have issues. Click on that, hit download. And now if we hit show, right click it and hit show in folder, you should see your fabric installer, which we've already used it. We don't actually need it anymore, but you should see your fabric API and architecture. So that's good. We're going to leave those there. We're just going to close out of these pages. Last but not least, we obviously need Cobblemon. The download's going to be, if you scroll up a bit, just right here. Make sure again that you click the fabric one, not the forge. Fabric runs a lot better than forge, so that's why we're setting it up like this. And you're going to hit the download on the 1.3.0 fabric. Then what you want to do is go back again to this main Cobblemon download page. Scroll down and you will see under installation, you'll see the official Cobblemon mod pack. Now we're going to open that in a new tab. I have ad blocker. We're going to ignore that. And click the server download here. It's going to be a real quick download. It's actually not too big. Then what you want to do is open in folder again, or show in folder. We can actually close out of our Chrome or whatever browser you're using now. Right click your desktop and create a new folder. This is going to be your server folder. So I'm just going to title it Cobblemon Server. You can title it whatever you want though. And if your desktop is linked to OneDrive, you're going to notice a green check mark, red X or loading icon on your files. Go ahead and delete it off your desktop or if you know how to unlink it from OneDrive, do that. And instead go directly to this PC open a new window, C drive, and create your folder in your C drive because you don't want it linked to OneDrive. All right, so now let's get on with it. We're gonna open up the Cobblemon server folder that we created, open up the server zip we downloaded, highlight everything, and drag it in. All right, now all those files in there, we can close out of the zip. Then what we wanna do is go to mods. We're looking for three, architecture, Cobblemon, and Fabric API. All three of these are outdated, so we're actually just going to delete them. Then we're going to go back to our Downloads folder. We're going to take these three, highlight them, I'm going to do Control c to copy, and then Control v and paste them in here. Then what you want to do is copy them one more time, or they should still be copied. Open up your Minecraft now. Once it loads, you should see Fabric Loader 1.19.2. Go to Installations, and then on the Fabric one, go over to the File icon. Click on that, go to the mods folder in the .minecraft, and then what you want to do is actually select all of the mods that are in your server mods folder, copy them, and paste them into your .minecraft mods folder. Now we can close out of the Minecraft mods folder and back out of the server folder. So now we have our server and our client. We're going to hit play on the client, play. We can close out of our downloads. Then what you want to do, if you have Linux, use the shell script. If you have Windows, use the .bat. So I'm going to delete the shell script because I don't have Linux. Hit start. Now, if this pops up, 
you can hit more of info. It's just, it doesn't know who created the start.bat. I don't know why this pops up at all. Just hit run anyway. But now you're just gonna wait for the server to finish loading. It's gonna create the spawn and all that. In order to join your server and for your friends to be able to connect, you do have to port forward. If you don't know how to port forward or you have never port forwarded for Minecraft already, please go down to the description and watch my tutorial for it. If you have Xfinity, I have a tutorial for you. For those of you that don't have Xfinity internet, I have a normal tutorial for you as well. But you're gonna go to multiplayer, uh, you could do direct connect or add server. You can literally just put a zero for you to connect, but your friends need your public IP once you're done port forwarding. You can find your public IP on whatismyip.com or canyousemi.org. And then once this server has finished preparing spawn here, all right, all done, hit done. We can see we've added our server, hit play, and you'll see us log in right here. All right, I hope you guys enjoy playing on your Cobblemon server. Don't forget to hit M, use the arrows to select your starter for whichever region you want, and then hit R to send out your Pokemon. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome one, and thanks for watching my tutorials.